Welcome to Quick Tips. My name is Mahashon and today I'm going to show you how to set up Spotify in Kenya or any other region where Spotify is not uh, available. And let's jump straight into it. Right now I'm on Windows. So the first thing you're going to do is to download the Winscribe. So go to Winscribe, click download. There are different options for Windows, Mac or Linux. There's also some extensions and there's also an app for iOS, Android. Yeah, just get it for Blackberry. Anyway, so for this case, I'm going to download the Windows version. And once that is downloaded, since I already have it, you're going to just install it and then open the application Winscribe. In Winscribe, there are several locations that you can choose. I recommend using either the US or the United Kingdom. So select United Kingdom from the list. You can favorite it so that you can easily find it. Then just turn it on. Once it's connected, it means your computer will act as if you're in the UK. At this point, you can go to Spotify. And you're going to create an account. So just click on sign up and fill in the details for signing up. Once you're done, go to your email address and confirm the email. Do all this when the Winscribe is still connected to the United Kingdom. After you're done with the setup, it's going to tell you to download the Spotify app and you can download the application. Again, don't forget and close Winscribe. It needs to be on through this process. When you open the Spotify application, you can now log in using the new details that you have. And that's it. Spotify is up and running. At this point, you can also now just disconnect the VPN application. Maybe once every month, you'll be required to reconnect the Winscribe app. You'll be required to connect back to the Winscribe and then log in because Spotify is going to lock you out. Fortunately, this happens only maybe once or twice a month. Therefore, it's not a big inconvenience. But once you're in, feel free to check out anything that you want. The podcast, the music and the popular playlist and anything else the advantage of using the app is that you can listen to any song and play any song this is not something that you can do on the mobile app when using the free version using the mobile app in the free version you cannot scroll back a song or you cannot select any song it just shuffles music you also have a maximum of six skips per hour Therefore, the desktop app is very powerful to use for the free version compared to the mobile version. If you don't have access to a desktop, whether Mac or Windows, you can do the same procedure on your phone. First, download the Winscribe app. Second, download the Spotify application. Unfortunately, it will not be available in your app store. And this only works in Android because for iOS, once an application has been region locked, you won't be able to access it. So in Android, just uh, search for Spotify APK in other marketplaces, then download the APK and install it. Once you've installed it, create your account and log in. And that's it. It's that easy. You can now just go back to Winscribe and deactivate it. Maybe once in a month or twice a month, it will also be asking you to log in again because Spotify is going to detect that you're in the wrong region. Again, just activate the Winscribe app and log in to it. Select the location and log in and then go back to Spotify and log in again. And that has been it for this quick tip video brought to you by Shadow Geeks TV. My name is Nahashon and see you in the next quick tips.